All right, guys, I have made the about 30 mile trek from my house to my favorite spot to fish for huge tilapia and huge bluegill. We've had a super rainy week. The water is high and it's kind of dirty. Normally when I fish for these bluegill, I can see the beds, I can sight fish for them, and I can, I can kind of cast to the weed lines. I can cast to where I think they're gonna be and catch them. It's kind of different today. I'm more blind casting. I can't see more than about a foot into the water, and I'm, uh, I'm trying to use a little bit brighter lures. Due to the fact it's normally clear water here, I normally try and fish a natural color and a natural jig head, but since it's kind of cloudy water, using a chartreuse jig head and that's a uh, just a one and a half inch crawdad in kind of a, a black and yellow so maybe a little more contrast in that darker water I have no idea what it's going to be like out here today um, the water temperature should be dropping a little bit I don't know if fish will be on beds due to the fact that we are kind of edging into fall and they may have moved out a little bit deeper I'm not really sure but I'm going to go and try and figure it out hopefully some big tilapia hopefully some big bluegill thank y'all for watching There we go. Oh, that's a cool fish. Oh my god. Oh, that was awesome. Look at that tilapia. Gigantic. gonna try and take out my phone while it feeds so I can go in after this guy because I can't pull him up on four pound line no idea how deep it is either I don't want to just drop off into six feet of water So difficult with one hand. I'm gonna barely go I can lift him. Wow. Jeez. What a fish. See that hook is just right perfect in the top and it comes out so easy. Well, that was fun. That fish ate right at my feet. Really good fight on the four pound line. So much fun. They're, they're beautiful fish, you know, tilapia, they get kind of a bad rap, but when they get this big, they are a lot of fun. Four pound line, 
Cast King Reel, Kodiak 1000. Let's let this dude go. Wow, that is a cool, cool fish. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Nice bluegill. Nice. You can see by that uh that bright purple and those uh, orange fins, this fish was on a bed. Spawning fish, spawning male. Oh no. Missed him the first time, got right back in there and he hit it before it could even get it two inches down. giant but gorgeous colors on this one back in this corner over here I can kind of see a color change in some dark circles so I think there's some beds down there so I'm gonna throw my jig on there and see if see if they are sitting down there Good one too. Wow. Wow. These colors, man, I tell you what. Man. Beat the tar out of it. Yes. Nice. That's a big one too. Oh, Look at that. Close his mouth. Face gone. Way down in there. Beauty. Thing hit it so hard. All right, my friends, seems like the fishing has kind of slowed down for me this afternoon, but I fished from about 9 o'clock until about 11.30, and um, I was able to get into some pretty good fish. I, I didn't really catch any big bluegills around D 
deep water or around the drains like I normally do. I normally can find a deep drain and the fish will be piled around it. But this trip, I did not get anything around any drains like that. I was able to find a couple of just random spawning areas and that's where I caught the big bluegill from. Uh, one thing I noticed, it was hard for me to find the spawning areas because I couldn't see them near as clearly in the muddy water. But I did notice that I could, I could get a little closer to them and I could cast them a little bit easier and I could catch multiple fish off them because they wouldn't spook as easy in that muddy water because they weren't seeing me and, and they weren't that worried about you know their buddy who just got pulled off a bed five feet away because they couldn't see him as clearly. But overall, it was a pretty good day. Also, um, that tilapia in the morning, that was a huge tilapia. That was a lot of fun, a great fight, fun on the four pound line. Main reel is using that Casking Kodiak with the uh, six foot six medium light Calamus rod. There's gonna be a link in the bio to both those. And of course, if y'all want to catch big bluegill, 150th ounce jig head, a little plastic minnow, a little plastic crawdad, a little plastic anything. That's what it takes, in my opinion, to catch those big bluegill. That's just got a perfect rate of fall. The bluegill's sitting on a bed, that falls on top of him, and it falls just slow enough for him to get mad at it and for him to crash it. But, thank you for all the support. I appreciate y'all watching. A bunch of stuff in the works. Big bass, big crappie, big bluegill, big catfish. And, I'm going to go to Costa Rica in about two weeks. And I'm going to catch some huge tarpon. Well over 100 pounds. That's the plan, at least. Thank you for watching.